Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use alpha mats in Final Cut Pro. You might have downloaded a stock clip before like this shot here that included an alpha mat at the end that looks like this. You can use the alpha mat to make the background transparent, allowing you to overlay that shot over any other background. Let me show you how to do it. Alpha mats are probably not something that you're going to use very often, but it's a handy technique to know because sometimes you'll find certain stock clips that come with an alpha mat. I used this stock shot for a client recently and I used the alpha mat to replace the background. Let's get into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how easy it is to do. I've got my clip in my project and you can see that the frame rate of the clip is 30 frames per second. It's important to create the alpha mat on a timeline that matches the frame rate of your clip. If you don't, you might experience weird little glitches, which I'll show you later. Let's create a new project using the shortcut command N. I'll select 30 frames per second and I'll name it Heart. I'll drop the clip onto the timeline and now you'll want to cut the clip where the footage ends and the alpha mat begins, right about here. And then you can drag the alpha mat on top of your footage. You can use the shortcut V to hide the top clip just to check that the alpha mat lines up with the footage. Next, with the top clip selected, head over to your inspector window and set your blend mode to stencil luma. The white parts of your alpha mat will be visible on the clip below and the black areas will become transparent. Let's lift the footage from the primary storyline using the shortcut command alt and the up arrow and I'll drop my background underneath the footage and I'll trim it to match the timing of the footage. You can also put the background on your primary storyline if you like using the shortcut command alt and the down arrow. You'll notice that you can't see your background yet, so you'll need to create a compound clip of your footage and your alpha mat using the shortcut Alt-G. Let's call that heart and hit OK. Now your background is visible underneath your alpha mat clip. In this case, I would add a Gaussian blur to the background and I'll set the amount to 100. I'll also use the color wheels to darken and desaturate the background so that the heart stands out a little bit more. Here is the final shot. Let's have a look at another example. I've got this shot of an explosion that also has an alpha mat at the end of it. I'll cut here to separate the footage and the alpha mat. I'll pop the alpha mat on top, then I'll set my blend mode to stencil luma, and then I'll create a compound clip of the footage and the alpha mat. I'll call it boom and hit OK. Let's drop this explosion on top of this drone shot. It helps to use a static shot so that you don't have to do any motion tracking. I'll click on the drop down arrow over here to activate my transform tools. I'll scale this clip down and reposition it to make it look like the explosion is happening over the hill in the distance. Next, I want to make the explosion match the scene a bit better. It looks darker and more contrasty than the rest of the scene, so by using a color wheels adjustment, I'll boost the shadows a little bit, I'll boost the mids too, and I'll bump the highlights up a little bit. Lastly, I'll desaturate it, and if you quickly compare before and after the adjustment, you'll see that it matches the rest of the scene. Let's group the explosion and the drone shot and I'll add this 24 mm handheld effect onto the group to make the shot a little less static. You can get these handheld effects for free from my friend Dylan Bates aka The Final Cut Bro. I'll leave a link down below so you can grab these awesome plugins. While you're there, subscribe to his channel. I guarantee that you'll enjoy his videos. Lastly, let's add an explosion sound effect and this is the final result. I mentioned earlier that you need to create this effect on a timeline where the frame rate matches the source frame rate of your clip. If you don't, your alpha mat might look like this. So make sure you create your compound clip at the right frame rate, and then if you drop that compound clip onto any other timeline with a different frame rate, like this timeline of 24 frames per second, you won't have that issue. That's all from me guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.